so uh, hello everyone uh, good evening so welcome everyone to this uh, session of uh, dil se so today we have with us uh, dr priyansh jain sir a biochemistry faculty at uh, doc tutorials and since the ini exams are coming up we thought you know we'll do one session with sir to understand the most important topics to focus for uh, biochemistry okay for the upcoming ini exams so priyan sir welcome and how are you sir thank you sir i am good uh, thank you thank you for the invitation and uh, it's always pleasure to share the stage with you sir thank you sir so sir uh, ini exams are coming up and um, you know do you think that uh, compared to neat an exam like ini has slightly more weightage to first year subjects uh yes it was like this only sir but uh, this time if you see the neat pg exam also there was also biochemistry 23 question has came okay so they are asking obviously inict they they the first year second year subject they they focus a lot on that and they are scoring also at the same time okay right right so sir uh, can you please uh, take us through those important topics sir because obviously with uh, less time remaining for ini Uh, students should actually focus and learn right now so can you please tell us what the most important 20 topics according to you will be for the inict exam sir yes sir sure sir we'll share the screen sir is it visible sir screen yes sir it's visible okay sir so the first thing they ina guys they love to ask about the enzyme kinetics the competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition the uncompetitive inhibition you might have discussed that in pharmacology also the same way they ask in biochem then coming to the heme metabolism part where they talk about the unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia the uh, conjugated ones the krigler naja dublin johnson syndrome then the bilirubin metabolism pathway from the enzyme there is uh, the classification international union biochemistry classification of enzyme the mechanism of enzyme which uh, enzyme belongs to which family that one table uh, where we talk about the enzyme classification part when it comes to metabolism they don't ask much on the the cycle part but the clinical correlation that they ask uh, the clinical correlation from for example the gluconeogenesis how somehow it is related with how uh the uh, it is related with insulin glucagon how it is going to affect on that the glycolysis tc cycle electron transport chain in that the energetics part and uh, the inhibitors particularly that which toxin is going to inhibit which particular enzyme then coming to the glycogen storage disease uh, that is one of the hot favorite topic definitely there will be one question from glycogen storage disease and one from the lysosomal storage disease in glycogen the von gier k mcardles pompe particularly these three and uh, when it comes to the uh, the relation of uh, the metabolism pathway with the diabetes part how the insulin uh, which pathways will be stimulated by insulin which pathways will be inhibited by uh, insulin glucagon how uh, uh, they are going to uh, work on the glycolysis krebs cycle mm -hmm. gluconeogenesis the ketone body formation the ketone body synthesis pathway connection to the diabetic ketoacidosis then lipoproteinemias the hyperlipidemias type 1 type 2 3 4 so if you see on this page you will see you will found there are one group of disease that is glycogen storage disease definitely there will be one question from the table of glycogen storage disease where they will ask the clinic uh, give you a clinical scenario they will ask you the enzyme deficiency then in the same way the hyperlipidemia the this time neat pg also they have asked the the same way they asking in the inct about that then in the fatty acid chapter the fatty acid oxidation uh, the mcat deficiency the uh, shuttle how the beta oxidation happens how much energy we are going to generate from beta oxidation then uh, from the urea cycle mainly they ask about the urea cycle disorder and in that also particularly the hyperammonia type 2 which is due to the ornithine deficiency right so mainly the hyperammonias and how to how you are going to differentiate the hyperammonia type 1 type 2 uh, triple s syndrome how we are going to differentiate them 
then the amino acid disorders again hot favorite definitely there will be one question out of these amino acid disorders such as phenylketonuria alkaptonuria maple syrup urine disease just you have to remember one main buzzword what is the enzyme deficiency and what is uh, the investigation that we do to diagnose the these disorders coming to the the nucleic acid part in the nucleic acid one uh, as such there is uh, not much question when it comes to the nucleotide uh, metabolism pathway but there is two three enzymes that definitely you should know one was the hgprts that is the the leshnian syndrome and then how the allopurinol works then uh, they asked this DNA repair mechanism defects, right? The Lynch syndrome, zero derma pigmentosa. So that is again very important. Then uh, from the transcription translation part, mainly they ask about the details of the particularly tRNA. T among all the RNAs, the most important is the tRNA. And second, how the various antibiotics they inhibit the translation. So there are two par parts that I want you to remember. One is the details of the tRNA, and second, the protein synthesis inhibitor drugs. How they stops the translation. Coming to the vitamins, uh, particularly the vitamin B complex, and in that also vitamin B one, B three, six, and P3, niacin, telegraph, very important. What are the causes, right? The various causes which we have discussed, the heart and disease, the Drummond syndrome, the corn maize eaters. So one is on the B3 part, B6, B12 part. How you will differentiate the B9 deficiency from B12 deficiency? What are the common features? What are the differentiating features? Then from the collagen, uh, go for scurvy. Osteogenesis is imperfecta, particularly the, the mechanism that how they develop, right? Osteogenesis is imperfecta, why it happens, what are the buzzwords, what are the main keywords to make their diagnosis. Then coming to, uh, coming to the hormone mechanism, that uh, which hormone works by which pathway, the tyrosine kinase, CGMP, CMP, the secondary messages. So just a simple table that uh, who if for which hormone, the tyrosine kinase mechanism is there, for what CGMP, for what CMP, cyclic MP is there. Antioxidant, just uh, one classification, right? The chain preventing uh, antioxidants are which are the chain preventing and which are chain breaking. That is the important class. We just a small table, chain breaking and chain preventing one. One question for sure, ABG, that but that overlaps with many other subjects also that uh, the metabolic disorders, uh, sorry, the ABG disorders. Then coming to porphyria. When it comes to heme catabolism, particularly two porphyrias, which are very common actually, that is acute intermittent porphyria and porphyria cutanea tarda. How you will differentiate that? Uh, I will just give you a hint. Acute intermittent porphyria will not have any skin finding, whereas the cutanea tarda will not have the neurovisceral findings. And lastly, about the how you interpret the various lab tests, right? What is the use of how you interpret the liver function test? Uh, from where SGOT, SGPT, in which disease they are going to increase about RFT, the troponins, the cardiac markers. So uh, that's all from the list part, sir. All right. Uh, so, sir, uh, thank you for giving such a very comprehensive uh, list. I think uh, this will be beneficial for students because biochemistry being a high yield subject for INI, you will have to prioritize as you come close to the exam. And I think, you know, you all should be focusing on this beautiful list that uh, Priyan sir has shared. Sir, uh, approximately, like, uh, what is your take? How many questions can come from biochemistry for INICT, sir, approximately? Um, I should say maybe somewhere between 70, uh, 13 to 16, somewhere there. Right. And uh, some of the questions can be ranked deciding as well, right, sir? It's definitely, sir. Each and every question is actually rank deciding. Uh, the only ones which are bouncer ones, which no one knows actually. Apart from that, everything is rank decided, and particularly, sir, with the subject of biochemistry, because it is one of the most uh, the subject which is most hated by most of the medical students, right? So, sir, including me. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Including everyone, including me also. So, the point is that, uh, sir, to sir. So. Uh, this this is they don't ask in very much depth also there are if you see historically if you see the data the same question when you have appeared in the exams the phenyl ketone yeah, yeah, yeah. the same is still coming sir why students were not even able to answer that also so why to make a new question the examiner may be thinking <laughs> like that <laughs> so uh, it's a subject uh, those who are going to master that na, sir, 
definitely they are going to have always and always extra edge they are going to get those extra 10 15 marks for sure in any exam sir right and sir what do you think like um, just a few days remaining for ini and uh, i'm sure that uh, the mindset is going to be very important sir so i just want to know like when you are coming near the exam sir like knowledge is very important no doubt about it knowledge is important but what do you think sir how important is mindset and what do you think is the right mindset sir see i i uh, as you said sir knowledge is always has to be required for the exam but so without mindset you can't win any battle if i am going to battle thinking that i may not be able to win definitely sir i am not going to win that so many of uh, uh, uh students those who think that they are average actually they are not but they think that they are average they have not prepared well so they take ina ct exam as a very difficult exam we are not going to select they go with that mindset that we are going to appear in the neat pg we are going to get a rank there only ina ct is not over cup of tea but if you go with that mindset it is not going to happen guys right. let's come out of that mindset means it's not that difficult also uh, and uh, because many of us are coming with that mindset so if you see the pull size is not a very big which which is appearing really with the positive mindset who is really going to fight for the exam so percentage wise there is a good number percentage wise probability is very high so first thing first let's have a mindset that ki i i can do that it's not difficult and you can do that and then you go to the exam uh, yes definitely it is you are going to make it happen and sir uh, like um, what about uh, students you know in case they have not done much of biochemistry will watching the qrp videos uh, help actually like at least for uh, certain uh, topics and do you have any specific suggestions in the set of revision videos that you have done some much wa- must watch videos or something like that definitely sir the qrp videos are not uh, i would say it will not take your much time if you just invest one day you will be able to complete the entire videos of qrp plus you will be able to revise them also you will get that much of time and that one day investment can easily fetch you i will not say all the questions because if you are just looking the qrp videos that will definitely fetch you around 70% of the the questions from the biochemistry and that is a good number right right and sir um, in the pattern of questions that you have seen like um, are previous year topics important for biochemistry going through the recall mm-hmm. questions yes 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 definitely sir i think ct is a paper which has the most repeated number of the questions and the repeated number of the the topics so they must watch all the pyqs of i n e c t which has been recorded there with the video explanation they should go with that and they can't they can't go without that actually but say okay? so they must watch all the and when you will watch those questions your biochemistry will be revised very fast in a very effective manner i think i also agree with you sir i think ini you have to go through pyts even today you know i was just uh, uh, framing uh, i mean the recall session for ini super specialty the same is with super specialty also sir like uh, some ditto repeats itself some of them some ditto repeats topic repeats so to all the viewers watching uh, ini you have to be thorough with the previous year topics you may get a question related to that that's what uh, sir is also hinting so thank you so much uh, priyan sir for that uh, wonderful discussion that uh, you know you have had and uh, thank you so much uh, for joining and uh, hope uh, all the students have been uh, benefited and we'll be coming up with uh, more sessions before the inict exam stay tuned thank you so much everyone thank you thank you sir and thank you to everyone thank you guys